Hey, our friends, check out all of these plushies that we got from Gund. Are you super excited? Uh-huh. Yeah, we're not gonna keep these. Nope. We're gonna give these away to you guys. They sent us six of these huge lazy eggs. Plus a little baby. Plus a little baby. <laughs> So at the end of this video, we're gonna give you instructions on how you can enter to win one of these awesome plushies. Mm -hmm. Now, what's this guy called? Gudetama. Gudetama. We're gonna draw him today holding a balloon, a lot like this one. Yes. Almost exactly like this one. <laughs> Do you know what my favorite part? It's what? actually not the front. It's the back. It's the back. It's Check it out. cheeks. <laughs> yeah, he's got little cheeks. <laughs> All right, should we clear these off and then draw? Yes. All right. <laughs> We're using a Sharpie, but you could use a washable black marker or a pencil or a crayon. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're using a black marker, you want to make sure that you have at least two sheets of paper so that it doesn't soak through and get onto your table. Now, we're first going to start by drawing a big rainbow line right in the middle or upside down U right in the middle of our paper. We're going to go up and then down. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to draw them kind of big. So start right here. I'll give you two points. We're gonna start. We're gonna draw them right in the middle of our paper. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now let's draw his legs. So right here, we're gonna draw a curve that comes down like this and then in. And we can also repeat that same step over here on the right side. Yeah. <laughs> then we're gonna come. We're gonna curl out just a little bit on each side, and that's for his foot. Yeah, <laughs> then we're gonna <laughs> curve back in for the rest of his leg and his foot. And we're gonna do that on the other side too. Yeah, it's a pointy foot. Yeah, he kinda has a pointy foot. Pointy egg. Pointy egg feet. <laughs> then, <laughs> then in between his feet, we'll connect him with a line. Yeah, that's the main shape of our Gudetama. <laughs> <laughs> Next, let's draw his face. I'm gonna first draw his mouth. We're gonna draw a squished oval. It comes around like this. <laughs> so right here, we're drawing his mouth and we're gonna also draw two squished circles or ovals for his eyes. And we're gonna draw them right above his mouth. So we're gonna draw one over here and then one over here. <laughs> and then color them in. <laughs> I like your eyes, they got really big. <laughs> now let's draw his hands. Now on this one, he's got both of his hands down. Let's draw his right arm. We're gonna draw it down also. So we're gonna draw a diagonal line that comes down. Then we're gonna draw it curving around and then back up. Yeah, now this one over here on the left side, we're gonna draw up because he's hanging onto a oh balloon, yeah. Then we're gonna curve back in and then down <laughs> good job <laughs> all right now now let's draw the white part of the egg so on this side we're going to come out right on the side of his body and then curve around so we're drawing this white this white fluffy part down here yeah and then down here in the middle we're going to curve down and then back up he's in a car it does look like he's driving a car, doesn't it? But it's his house. It, it, I guess so. <laughs> and we're gonna curve back up and into the side of his body. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna draw him hanging onto a balloon. So let's draw a straight line connecting to his arm. And it's going through his head. Yeah, it's going right through his head. Boom. <laughs> then at the top, we're gonna draw a little arrow. So let's draw a T on the top. Then we're gonna draw an upside down V. That's for the bottom of the balloon. And then we're gonna draw a big circle or big oval for the balloon. So we're gonna come up, around, and then back down. Hallie, we did it. Now it's okay that our two drawings look a little different, right? Mm -hmm. And it's okay if our friends' drawings look different too, because the most important thing is- To have fun. Yeah, to have fun and to- Practice. Practice. Except we still need to do one last thing. What is it? Color. Color. Now this part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end, you guys can pause it to match the same color. Hadley, good job. You finished coloring your lazy egg and you turned out really cute. Oh, I love your drawing the most. Did you have fun? Yes. What was your favorite part? The face. The, your face is my favorite too. 
He looks like he's really uh, lazy. <laughs> Remember, you can pause the video right now to match the same color. To win one of these plushies, parents go over to our special link, artforkidshub.com gun. That's gonna take you to Gun's website where you can see every single one that they make. And they make a bunch. They make yeah. different ones. They make them where he's laying down. They also make them where he's rolled up in bacon. <laughs> I think that might be my favorite. <laughs> Then ask your kids which one is their favorite, come back to this video and leave a comment below and tell us which one your favorite is. When should we pick the winner, Hadley? Friday. Friday. That sounds like fried egg. Fried egg. Fried egg. <laughs> Friday, we're gonna pick the winner in the morning. We'll announce them in the comments below. And we'll see you later, our friends. Bye Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.